Yo, what's going on? It's your boy B Bird. Just uh, really want to drop uh, just a quick uh, a quick video, real quick. Just really want to talk about the Sweden um, strategy of the coronavirus. Um, as you know, the I think they they taken basically an open policy, open door policy to the you know not closing down or doing any lockdowns or any type of method of uh, precautions to their population. Um, they really, and they're saying it's affected. Um, but, you know, the numbers, you know, tell a little bit different if it's affected because I think the the cases are like 14,000 and their death is over 1,500. Um, so, and it's climate. Uh, and plus, I think the, the elderly population I think it's almost a count, almost half of the population, and um, I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna make a long video. I'm gonna really keep this, uh, keep this short. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I really think this is more coming out the pages of the book. Might is right. Uh, if you don't know what might is right, it was it was written by um, in the in the late 1800s. Um, late 19th century um, by a guy named Ripsker something. I forgot his last name. But I have to probably uh, look it up. But he come out of Eastern Europe. I think he actually come, um, not not from Eastern Europe, but I think they say he comes from, I think, area of Eastern Europe or Scandinavia area. Um, but he was just writing about uh, basically, the the fight and flight, you know, fight or flight, uh, survival of basically of white supremacy and why white supremacy must do to stay in a superior position. Um, and basically, like one of the the one of the the, the keys out of is, is is really out of every every of nature is the thinning of a herd. Um, basically, the weakest. Uh, the weakest link of the herd basically uh, just die out, while while the strong, you know, keep it, you know, keep surviving. And if you look at the, what the Swedes approach and their method of dealing with this corona, it's kind of just like that. It's more about they're pretty much the thinning of a herd with what Sweden is doing. Um, I, you know, I think the Guardian, a few newspapers, um, even I think all out there in Europe, they talked about how the elder population is almost abandoned by this by this uh, policy that Sweden is doing. But a lot of mixed reviews. Uh, you know, Sweden uh, is, is, is a you know quote a very liberal country. Um, it's almost like Denmark and Norway. Um, and, and feeling, um, but it's the most, um, it's the most racial charged Scandinavian country as well, uh, with their, with their pot, with their, a lot of their immigrant pots or their, a lot of their asylum or refugees, uh, population that they have over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, it's more just a, a way to thin out the population. Um, and also just, a. Uh, ignorance too of not really looking out for the best interest of your population because um, it's almost like you you're looking at capitals. Uh, um, you're looking at more of a capitalist than just looking at um, humanity uh, type of situation. Um, I mean, really, I can't. I mean, I think it's ignorant as I see it, but I understand just the, the grand scheme of it is, as well. Um, they feel like if this, if it's, you know, cause they got early data that young people, if hindsight or not, is, uh, is not really dying from the, uh, Corona, but people that is older or have preconditions, um, or very weak immune systems is very likely to die. That makes it, um, apparent that this is what they're, they're aiming for. Um, basically root out the weak from the strong. So, um, basically straight out the page of might is right. Um, hopefully, like I said, uh, like I said, um, 
like I said, certain countries are, are basically going to be taking steps uh, similar to what Sweden is doing. Just like here in the, United, in the United States, you got a lot of states that are now starting to want to open up their economy. Um, most states that that's, that's control more of a democratic, they are going to still remain in lockdown. But you have a lot of different states that's not really controlled by Democrat or liberal type uh, ideology that's going to reopen. Um, really, a lot of these states are really hurting for money. They they they're running out of money. A lot of them, as they said, they 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 don't have enough money for even unemployment um, in the next coming months. So to them, they need to start opening up their economy. So this is basically more of an economic. Uh, an economic thing that, that they're really doing. Um, also, just it's just like I said, I mean, I don't think it's best because, like I said, people are still spreading. It's still spreading. Um, it's slowing down, but, you know, it's slowing down due to many people is, you know, not really around each other. So I think you start reopening like Florida did with their beaches. You're going to have a second wave coming very shortly. Um, cause you got people that's still affected the people that's not affected that they're all in mingling and you're going to have a, if you have a deficiency in your health, you're going to catch it. You can, you might have a higher chance of dying from it. So it's a very risky play that a lot of these states are doing, especially risky with Sweden's doing. So, uh, that's really what all I have to say. Uh, but like I said, I understand the grand scheme of what Sweden is doing. And I'll get back with you guys. All right, one.